On February the 23rd, 1987, a bright new star lit up in the large Magellanic Cloud, the largest companion galaxy of the Milky Way, 167,000 light years away. The enormous brightness immediately suggested that it was a supernova. Named Supernova 1987A, it was the closest such event that was visible to the naked eye since Kepler's supernova of 1604. It offered modern astronomy a unique possibility to study the death of the blue supergiant star Sanduliac minus 69202. Although the glittering light of the explosion has faded away long ago, Supernova 1987A still presents a spectacular display. It is surrounded by a thick ring of glowing gas in the equatorial plane. Two larger but fainter rings can be seen above the poles. The origin of these rings is not fully understood. They are probably composed of material which has been lost by the pre-supernova star about 20,000 years before the explosion. The series of four panels shows the evolution of the supernova debris. A decade after the explosion, the matter ejected from the stellar interior has expanded enough to be resolved with the Hubble Space Telescope. Ahead of the stellar debris, the supernova shock tears into the circumstellar medium. The initial flash of light from the supernova explosion causes the ring to glow. Debris hurl into space, the fastest moving at one-tenth the speed of light. The supernova's shock wave causes the ring to glow again. The closer the pieces of the ring are to the shock wave, the sooner they light up. Eventually, the whole ring lights up. Hubble observations in 1997 showed a brightening knot at the inner edge of the equatorial ring. This was the first sign of the dramatic and powerful collision between the outward moving blast wave and the ring material. This collision will continue over the next few years. It will rejuvenate Supernova 1987A as a powerful source of radiation. Supernova 1987A marked the spectacular end of the life of a star with 20 times more mass than the Sun. At the pre-supernova stage, 10 million years after its creation, the star was roughly 100 times larger than the Sun. A nuclear fire supplied the star with the pressure necessary to withstand the enormous forces of gravity. The stellar interior has a so-called onion shell structure. A thick hydrogen envelope surrounds successive layers of helium, carbon, oxygen and silicon. These are the ashes of a sequence of nuclear burning stages. At the center, a core of iron has formed with about the size of the moon, but more massive than the sun. No more energy release by nuclear reactions is possible. Therefore, the core collapses within less than a second until the density of atomic nuclei is reached. Now a neutron star begins to form at the center. At the same time, a shock wave is launched and starts traveling outwards. At the very center of the explosion, in a region only 50 kilometers in diameter, the nascent neutron star is stirred up by extremely rapid overturn motions. These transport energy from the interior to the neutron star's surface. From there, it is radiated away by neutrinos. These neutrinos deposit the energy for the explosion behind the shock front. The heated gas around the neutron star begins to rise in bubbles and pushes the shock farther out. Two tenths of a second after the shock was launched, it has reached a radius of more than 1500 kilometers, well inside the silicon shell. It is on its way out to disrupt the star in a violent supernova explosion.